Hello world, well, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing more Animal Crossing. Of course, I don't even think I should say that I'm doing Animal Crossing because we all know that's all I'm doing. But you guys have requested more princess dresses, specifically uh, Deanna, Belle, and Merida. I also got a request for Elsa and for Anna. However, this video took forever to make. Like, no lie, I spent two hours trying to create these three dress uh, dresses. Maybe a little bit over two hours, maybe like two and a half hours. But yeah, I was just a little frustrated, but I think I finally did it some justice i hope you guys liked it as well but anyway i'm starting off with bell with bell i wanted to go with the poofy dress but just the sleeves weren't right so you will see me change out of this and uh um i am also going to make an anna and elsa video on its own since they're kind of separated from all the other princesses they're their own special kind of princess so i decided i'm gonna do an anna and elsa video separated just Anna and Elsa but it's gonna be maybe two dresses so I need your guys' opinion I don't know for sure I'm gonna make uh, the Anna dress from the first movie with the cape and then the Elsa like the ice blue dress right and then I want to make a second one for each of them as well I don't know if I want to go with frozen two outfits or if you guys would like me to do like the coronation outfits because that's good or if you would like both I can go ahead and try and do that as well it might just take a little bit longer to upload and then also today i got a request for uh, nintendo dresses so i'm gonna go ahead and be doing those as well um so yeah i have so many ideas you guys are suggesting a lot of great things so i will try my best to get to all of those as well um but today we are starting with Belle, tiana and merida so for Belle, the reason like i said i didn't like the poofy sleeves on the other one because i wanted to make this dress off the shoulder since that's kind of what's iconic to Belle, at least to me um so i decided to go with this one that's a normal little dress and i think it works pretty well um if you like the poofy dress sorry i just i don't think the sleeves were gonna work unless you would just give it like cinderella or snow white sleeves if that makes any sense it would be poofy not not off the shoulder which i guess could be a possibility as well but for Belle, like i said i wanted to go with off the shoulder so that's what i'm doing here the trick is that i'm just going to pretend that the rest of the sleeve and the color of the dress is not here by making it a skin color shade so it looks a little bit wider here i don't know when i'm playing on the switch it looks good and then when i'm on the computer it looks a little bit different i don't have any shaders for this game on like the sims but i don't know it just looks a little bit different the colors look a little bit different so i do go back and edit and make them a little bit brighter just so they can stand out a little bit more and oh my god i finally got to the point in the game where you can upload your designs i was gonna say to the gallery but it's not the gallery but basically the gallery so i will be including those codes on well, i don't know why i'm out of breath <laughs> I, i'm not i just woke up not feeling that well today um so <sighs> i'm out of breath oh my god and i haven't even finished the video i'm three minutes in and i'm already out of breath but either way I, I finally got to that point on that game like i said to where i can upload the designs and i'm so happy i'm gonna be including all those codes on here as well i will be including them after each dress they like the little screenshot that it gives you and then i'll also try my best and put them on the description and then for the other designs the past designs that i had made the other videos i will be going uh, back and uploading up uh, not uploading updating the description to include those codes as well so you can go ahead and go back and just download them from there if you're at that point of the game so at that point of the game what i'm talking about if you haven't gotten there yet you will get to the point where you can have the able sisters move in once they do move in and they open their store there's a little kiosk if you go to that little kiosk um it lets you either download the signs by looking at the code or you can upload your own as well so like i said exactly like the gallery <laughs> But either way, the bell dress, I guess it's not too difficult. There's not much to it. That's kind of why I skipped it on the first video. I did want to include her with the iconic princesses. But I don't know. I just felt like it's just yellow. Like, again, I like the Rapunzel dress. I like, like, very colorful dresses. Bell is just yellow, two different shades, a darker yellow at the top and a darker yellow at the bottom. You can pause your screen here. And here is that coat, like I said. And the next one, we are going to be moving on to Merida. And Merida is honestly one of my favorites as well. People People often forget that she's there as a princess because she's the only princess that's counted as a Pixar princess. There's no other Pixar princess. But yeah, Merida, I guess she did it first before Elsa. <laughs> like she was the one that needed no man first before Elsa even was a thing. 
and that's the reason why I loved Merida when I came out. I loved how independent she was. She was very independent and I feel like that's a really good thing to tell or a good message to tell the little girls nowadays because, or maybe I don't know, they're too young. But again, little girls grow up with the idea of thinking that that they need a prince to come and save them because of all the Disney princesses and this one really puts that out there that no you don't need one to be successful or to do what you want to do in life so again I love Merida for that I love how she is so independent but again I don't even know if little girls care about this I don't think they understand that message little girls nowadays all they care about is pretty dresses <laughs> so I know this because like I said in the other video I used to do a princess like a princess party so yeah, I never got requests hardly ever for like Jasmine or Merida. I never got a request for Belle either even though I know people do ask for them. Like I've seen other people do it. For me, mostly it was all about Elsa and a couple Cinderella's and that's it. <laughs> Cinderella and who else? Oh, and Ariel. Of course, Ariel as well. But anyway, yeah, little girls don't care. They only care if you're a mermaid or if you have a puffy dress. If you're wearing pants like Jasmine has, they don't really care about those princesses. They really do care about the poofy dresses and the pink colors and yeah, that's all they see. That's all they care about. But anyway, with Merida, I did struggle with the collar because I decided to go with the coat. And for the coat, as you can see, it has the little collar already included. So that just kept throwing me off so much. I tried going with it. I tried going against it. I cut off a lot of me struggling on how to get the dress, the part of the dress, the top dress part. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop saying top dress because I'm just gonna get myself confused. You know like when you say a word, for example, if Drake and Josh has you ever seen when they're talking about bubbles, and he starts saying bubbles so much that it starts sounding weird. That's what I do to myself on a daily basis. But anyway, uh, I ended up leaving it like this. I think this is the best it was gonna get. And I just go ahead and add the belt. So she does have a belt at the waist but it's kind of like loose so it's hanging off kind of like tilted so I went ahead and added this and then I just added the shading to it to make it look a little bit I was gonna say more realistic but come on it's not realistic but it just pops out a little bit better and I'm sorry if you guys hear background noise everyone is home right now because of the verse so there's a lot of background noise everyone's home right now there's no going around it but I wanted to get this video up today it's also gonna be up a little bit longer or not not a <laughs> I don't know why I did this to myself. It's gonna be up a little bit later than what I anticipated it for because I'm editing it late. There's a lot of birds singing outside and I feel like I can hear them on my headset. I don't know if you guys are picking that up as well, but I mean, I can up there and tell the birds to shut up as well. I have my computer set up near a window, so I feel like you can hear a lot because it's so close to the window. But anyway, this is pretty much it for Merida. Oh, I do decide to go back and add these little straps to, I guess, the armpit area or the shoulder area because I noticed last minute that she has these little areas in here as well. But yeah, all I have to do now is just go on the back of the dress and complete the belt to match the front and honestly that's pretty much it so here is the actual design you can go ahead and pause here and then i will also include oh i forgot for bell i did not do this so i'm sorry but that's what it looks like with new character where is it and this is the code and then finally for tiana tiana was the biggest headache <laughs> i think i mean the design wasn't too hard it just it was highly detailed i guess i can say because i knew what i was gonna do like in my mind sometimes i started this uh, the designs and i'm like i have no idea how i'm gonna do this i just start playing around with it until i come up with something for tiana for merida and tiana um it wasn't like this i guess for merida i had an idea however for merida once i was actually doing it it was and as I thought because of the collar I had forgotten that the collar was there for the coat for Tiana I knew that we had this dress and I knew what I wanted to do I, like I said it was just highly detailed and then for uh, Belle I had the idea to do it on the poofy dress but once I started it I did not like it so I ended up switching to the other dress so it just works literally on a base to base basis case to case basis yeah case to case basis I think that's how you would say it um, but yeah, for Tiana, I used a little spaghetti strap dress and there's two. There's the little flat one and then there's this one which is poofy. So I went with the poofy one, obviously. 
So the initial design is basically like a bathrobe, like you can cross it over like a bathrobe. So that's what I did at the top. I ended up with this. I did the skin color at the top as well so we can go ahead and make that invisible once your character wears it. You just have to match it um, to the color of your character, of course. Um, so you can obviously change that a little bit to whatever color is best. And then the flower was a little bit difficult. Not the not so much the top part, but the bottom part because it, it is basically like a star shape. The, three parts at the top are equal but the ones at the bottom can't be because the way the squares are if that makes any sense but i went ahead and did the flower and then i just go back and i changed the color to make it a little bit creamier and then the difficulty with this or with princesses at least is that every picture that you look at obviously you have to have a picture up of what the dress looks like so you can copy it but every dress well, not every dress every picture of the dress is like a different shade a different color so there's like uh art where people do it a different color there's the original one but even the original one has like three shades and then there's like the disney art which you know where they add like glitter and make it prettier that's a different color so it's just it's hard so i ended up just picking whatever i thought looked best and for the flower i ended up giving it three leaves and obviously i outlined everything i do cut a lot of the outlining off because it just would have taken forever this is on the highest speed uh when i speed it up and i feel like it's still going pretty slow that's just how slow i was actually going in real life <laughs> and then uh for the back obviously she continues with the little leaf pattern that she has at the front so i go ahead and add three more of the little leaves or actually i continue the two from the sides and then i just add one on the middle and that's pretty much it and then for the bottom i forgot i almost forgot that it's yellow so i went ahead and did it yellow i mean i guess you could have stopped and left it here you can already tell who it is but i am a perfectionist so i wanted to go ahead and finish it off with the little leaf patterns that she has at the bottom she has like the little continuation from the top but in a lighter color to have like the flower petals at the bottom as well so i went ahead and added those to the front and then also continued off the back and did the outlining like i said but again i cut off the outlining just for time purposes but you will see the final look on the picture but anyways here is the pattern i'm just going ahead and adding a little bit of highlight to the uh, get to the ends of the dress or to the little leaves here because i feel like they look kind of plain so i feel like if i added this little bit of highlight it would bring a little bit more three-dimensional look and make it pop pop a little bit more and it wouldn't look as plain so that's what i went ahead and did but anyways other than that there is the final product again you can pause for the picture here and then this is the code as well and i tried it out of course so honestly i think this one was probably my favorite this one in merida and i don't know i like them all but here is a little picture of what they all look like together please let me know if you have any more suggestions i'll try to do i'll try to do my best to get to them all and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you so much for watching bye